for sure. 14 assists, 18 turnovers. <clears throat> Hardy, McKinley Wright, over dribbling at the nail, have to swing, have to uh, understand if um, they'll help you out. Once you pass it, once they make shots. So we went over and practiced a redrive. So I expect here, them getting off the nail ball early, us redriving, hitting, trying to hit that corner three. Um, but you know, that's how we are in defense. The difference was is they made their, their threes and then they redrove and, and, and had the corner shot. So uh, big emphasis on that. And the more we play, the more reps they get and the understanding some guys they're not used to playing with, but it doesn't matter. It's just like it's pickup and you're trying to get used to the guy, get off the ball. It seemed that you guys use like double drag and uh, stack pick and roll at times to be a counter to the nail help. Is that an effective use? Well, I, I, I had to do the, uh, the the two pick and roll, especially in transition. You have the first one a little bit higher up, so then Hardy can get down with his right. And that our bigs are so athletic when it comes to lively, where get behind the defense with some speed, and it makes it an easier read for uh, for Hardy, especially when he has some speed coming down. And, and, and instead of in the half court, they can be physical with him. Yeah, it seems like uh, improving change of pace is going to help some of Jaden um, as he kind of develops his game. What are your thoughts on his progress in that area? Yeah, I mean, listen, he's the guy who takes three steps forward, you know, one step back each time. In the way, he's just trying to – so many – the best defenders guarding him at all times. He has to uh, stop over-dribbling as much. I told him, listen, I told you you're going to get 18 to 20 shots, which which is about right. He had it. There's times where he can play get game, throw it to the big, a la CJ McCullough. There's times where he has to cut through, be a screener, let McKinley and AJ and other guys curl off you so that now when it's a switch, you have a weaker defender and now the ball's coming back. You don't have to worry, young fellow. The ball's going to come back to you. We have three, I keep saying, three unselfish bigs. And so sometimes just watching the film, taking a breather, and it takes the second, third, fourth practice for him to understand and, and, and going through these games. Um, uh, switching uh, concepts, I guess, you guys have seen you work on a lot of uh, practices. Um, uh, here switching, uh, it seemed like that wasn't used as much in the previous game. Is that something you're up to? Well, yeah, we we struggle with the five uh, with the five man popping veer. Uh, you know, Lively got one rep of practice to be able to do that, um, and then the five out where the big is up top. Listen, we beat Utah Jazz in the playoff series because we put Rudy Gobert up top, and it's hard for those bigs to know the rotation. So we worked on that, watch film on that, and another thing is this league is about finding mismatch. So the guard to guard screen, you saw a man slip out, hit a three. You got to be physical call red, which is our switch call, push them up. And if it's not their emergency help at the top of the key, but I mean, you guys watch these games. They're going 100 miles an hour. Guys are getting tired at different times. And so you, 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 they're playing hard. And now we just got to slow down even defensively of, hey, let's get our calls, let's get our talk right. And uh, I, I think we'll do that and have a better outing this night, tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on how Adrian Lawson is performing? Good. I thought he was great defensively. I thought he shot the right shots, didn't shoot a bad shot. Uh, I want him to be on the glass even more. And uh, with him, as he had 11 points, if he hits one or two of those threes, he could have 16, 17. So he's going to get open looks, especially tonight with Hardy and Wright's penetration going down to the paint. Uh, but for him, it's keep doing the little things. That's why that's what's going to make you stick in this league or get a chance in this league defense in the little things. Just fit in seamlessly. It was like he, he's been in practice, you know. He, he had a little more ahead of the curve than with Lively. He's physical, he can guard, he can switch. Offensively, he's looking to get downhill and attack, and he's on the glass. Didn't call one play for him. His minutes, him and Lively minutes will be up. I expect the production to be up. I expect him to sh uh, make a couple more mistakes, more mistakes, and then we'll watch it in film and and f try to keep on improving these guys. And man, we got what eight, nine more days, and so my job is to hopefully take them a, a, a notch better for summertime when they get ready in August to work out and get a little bit more training in. Oh yeah, first thing first, Derek Lively got drafted. 12 because of his shot blocking, athleticism. It's natural for him. It's a God gift for him to wander in that paint and want to go be the second jumper and block shots. I just think for him, it's, it's just learning the rotations, learning the veer concepts, and just getting reps. I mean, listen, he only played 16 minutes and he could easily played more. And so tonight he'll get, he'll play more, he'll get a chance. They have a pretty good a center who likes to pop. He didn't have times where he has to switch and guard guards. And this is why we drafted him. We're going to throw him to the fire here. You mentioned uh, needing more uh, right yeah. uh, as a leader. Uh, what would you like to see from him after reviewing the film from the first uh, Be aggressive. They go under, shoot the basketball. If they go over, your floater. If they're at the nail, make the read. Defensively, I thought he was great. 
doing that one offensively. We get a rebound, push the pace. Don't turn your back to it. Look through it. I'll ask Steve Nasky in that paint. Look for kickouts because everyone compacts and sinks in the paint. And uh, just be your game, man. It's just one game. Nerves, it's fine. Now, hey, now let's do a bounce back game. Uh, Derek, uh, oh, yeah, Derek, uh, uh, Derek, um, you know, it's, you mentioned that you like to talk a lot in the court. Uh, what is the value of having, like, the uh, like a very active If you don't have your four or five men out of the lead, communicator, you're not going to be a top five, top 10 defense. From KG to Draymond, even Rudy, uh, the defensive player here, he talks all defense. Tyson Chandler was one of the best at it. That would be one of his mentors here. They're going to go with Sweeney and his development. But for him, it's not only going to be able to talk and communicate, you got to know what you're talking about. So it's our job to help speed up his knowledge and the process, give him the film, give him the, the reps and the work. So, uh, you know, rookie year is always tough. By his second, third year, he's one of the best communicators in the league. Thank you. Um, I mean, this is year three summer league for me now, so I just want to come in, bring the intensity, you know, lead by example, show these guys like, yo, we care about defense over here, and we wanna, we wanna get stops, we wanna go get these stops and go convert on the other end. So I'm trying to guard one, two, three, sometimes four, just show, showcase I can do that, and you know, slide my feet, and I let these guys beat me off, off the dribble. For sure, that's been huge. I've been trying to gain weight for almost all my life. You know, finally I got to put some pounds on. I feel like I probably gained at least like 10. I'm, I'm like the heaviest I've ever been right now. It's feeling real good. I feel strong. I'm guarding these guys. I'm chesting up. And I know I definitely feel a difference in my weight for sure. So that's, that's definitely like a positive note. You were able to get some opportunity like to end last season with the Mavs. Yeah. What were some of your takeaways kind of from that in the summer? Uh, uh, my takeaways is that, you know, just come in, come in the game and, you know, make an impact some way. If you're not scoring the ball, defend, rebound, make some steals. <laughs> yeah, that's Chris over there. That's one of our, you know, one of our best shot blocks on the team, you know, just if we get beat, we know we got Chris, we know we got uh, big Marcus there live on the court that, that got our back. So, you know, just got to keep playing hard together and just win these games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Like, I feel like I'm one of the best cutters, like, like in this summer league right now because I feel like I'm a versatile cutter. I can, you know, set screens and cut, you know, get off, the, get off the 45 and cut. That's probably one of my strengths right there. I'm gonna keep doing that because I'm gonna open up the players. If I cut, who's gonna guard the corner guy? Cause the corner guy's gonna help me. So that's probably like, you know, sacrifice sometimes, you know, sacrifice for the greater good. Cause I know if I cut, Jane, Jane gonna get a corner three, so. All right, so you were the only other person that scored double digits in the last game. Yeah. I wanted to know that you guys worked on something so the ball can be fed a little bit better, more efficiently, so more people can get it. I mean, that was like really our first game all together. You know, that was D Live and O Max is like first game. They just had practice the day before that. So I feel like this next game, we all gonna have better movement. Um, we gonna probably shoot the ball way better than last game because I feel like we didn't shoot shoot enough. Um but the nerves are gone. Yeah nerves are definitely gone. We gonna we're gonna come in and hoop hoop. Thanks. For sure. Thanks AJ.